Yes. Damien, uh, we have these tr uh, um, social media pylons where somebody says something and it's a kind of mo it's like mm. the mob in the French Revolution, isn't it? Well, so I think we all know that the in intolerance, particularly on social media, it, it is absolutely endemic. And that people, uh, I think the most worrying trend in, in the country is the tribalism, that people surround themselves. You don't feel you can say anything <laughs> unless you have a large group of like-minded supporters who are going to sort of cover you because you're going to get so attacked. But I have to say that, I mean, I take on board all these uh, debates and I think there's a lot of interesting issues about gender and sexuality and things like that. But I see a pattern of tribalism and intolerance in a wider sense across Britain. Um, even, for example, in the way that things are politically shifting. We're in a country now that, for example, the ruling Conservative Party tends to have all its uh, power bases in, in country districts and more in the south of England. We're here in the north of England. I, I don't think people in the south of England are actually aware that in the city of Manchester, one of the most important cities in Britain, yeah. <laughs> there, is, there is no Conservative councillor at all. But the council is 94 out of 96 councillors are Labour. Until two years ago, every, every councillor was Labour. Now, when you get to that level, in what sense is democracy operating in Britain? And I don't mean that as point scoring against Labour, if you're a Labour supporter. But that's of what course people that, have voted for. That's absolutely fine. But I think what goes on in, in, for example, a city like Manchester is, it becomes increasingly, if, for example, you don't agree with that, you won't find, during an election, a Conservative poster anywhere. And that's not because there are no Conservatives in Manchester. Of course there are. But, con but putting up a Conservative p poster has become something dangerous. You're going to get a prick through your window if you put up that. You might get your car but keys. Leave, leave and Remain has been a similarly acrimonious. Absolutely. And if you are living in whichever way of that debate you happen to come down on, if you live on, for example, a street where people mostly support leave, or, or the other side, and you are the opposite opinion, I think you'll probably find you have to feel like you have to keep that opinion to yourself, because if you express that opinion, you'll be excluded. So and can... I think what we really want to get back to yeah. is, is, a, is a, a process that people are more accepting of difference of opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to see, I mean, I get so frustrated when I get, even in local elections and things like that, that I get leaflets through the door telling me, uh, the Conservatives can't win here, or Labour can't win here, and it, it's trying to sort of exclude them from the process to make it, this is our territory, and nobody must come into it. And it's we, we, very, we, very, very tribal. 